All right. Thanks to SodaStream, catching up with the boys, Mac and Shay, with what's been bubbling away during isolation. Obviously, a lot of people know what Mac got up to recently. So we'll, we'll start with you, Shay. What have you been doing? How's the family? How's everything going? Everything's all good. Uh, just trying to keep sane, you know, going up, going up for walks, trying to clear the head. Um, and yeah, just trying to um, try have some fun in the park uh, with the family. Um, you know, play playgrounds are off limits, so yeah, we just got to try to kick a ball around and, and stuff like that. Well, it must be interesting here. You say playgrounds because there's tape all over playgrounds. You've got uh, young children and another fresh one. So, what do you do? Obviously, you say kick the ball around. A lot of playing at home. So, you've seen some videos that you had a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, we just we got a little slide for for our daughter that's 17 months. Um, yeah, she, just her trying to figure out how to use the slide. Um, it's been pretty. Pretty awesome uh, and also funny as well. Um, but yeah, just trying to do small activities for her. Um, she, uh, yeah, she just doesn't doesn't like doing the activities for long. Um, she'll do it for like what, like five minutes, and you're you're there cleaning up for like twenty minutes. Um, but yeah, it's it's good times. Um, but yeah, it's it's fun. Well, from one husband to now a new new husband, Maka. Congratulations, also. A lot of us are a part of your special day, and you can see that your child's asleep back in the background. How was yeah, it? And how's it, feel, how's it feel to be married? Yeah, thanks, mate. It's um, life is no different, surprisingly, at the moment. Um, it's it was cool though. Obviously, we had everything planned to head over to Europe and get that done, and and then we had to unplan everything, which was probably twice as stressful. Um, so it's cool that we just had the opportunity to do it. We did it, and and we're uh, legally married now. Now you talk about having a lot of things planned, a lot of things get cancelled. One thing that did get cancelled that a lot of Melbourne United fans will look forward to was Shaylee versus Mitch McCarron in the NBL 1. Now, we'll start with you, Shay. What were you going to most look forward to about that matchup? Someone you've gone against every day in the NBL season for United to come up against them in two strong powerhouse teams, which would have been in the NBL 1. Uh, no, it would have been fun. Uh, you know, we've had a, had a lot of battles um, throughout our years. You know, Mac, Mac was playing um, in New Zealand. Um, so, yeah, we used to play um, some big games against each other. Um, but, yeah, I was looking forward to it, um, especially with uh, the coach, um, Shula and, and Tohi, that was also playing for them. Um, yeah, we had a stacked team as well. But, yeah, I, I, I felt like we would have got the dub as well. But, um, yeah, it would have been fun to play against Mac and um, go head to head at that point. My God, spot. You already ready, Maka? Yeah, um, Shay and his uh, Willy, Willy boys have, have always put the beat down on me when I've been in New Zealand. So um, I'll, Geelong Supercats had a, <laughs> had a couple of secrets up their sleeve. So I was, I was looking forward to, to that game, but uh, it'll have to wait. Well, as a guy who was going to play for a team that probably wouldn't have been as competitive with you guys, I'm pretty glad I don't have either of you guys picking me up full court. So I'm pretty happy. The season got called off for now. <laughs> but on a, staying on a basketball, what are you what are you doing to keep in shape basketball wise, not knowing what you're allowed to do when, potentially when a season starts? What can you possibly do? Obviously, Shay yours is a bit different when you've got two kids to look after, but just trying to keep in shape, whether you've got a ball in your hands at times or what are you doing? Uh, yeah, so Pop, um, our strength and conditioning coach gave us some bands to uh, you know, just just to stay active and um, do a little bit of strength work and and uh, recovery and um, rehab. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to get out to to some courts. Um, haven't been um, fortunate enough to find one that's open. Um, so yeah, I'm just here, just trying to work on my handle in the kitchen uh, with my daughter. You know, trying to run around me and and stuff like that. So it's it's tough with with little ones, but um, yeah, I should be all right by the time um, the season starts. Where you make it? Yeah, um, pretty similar, minus the kids. Um, so, yeah, I just trying to find a good court that's not packed. I mean, I, I love seeing people out filling the basketball courts, um, even though we're really meant to be inside. Um, but it, it's cool to see people playing ball. Um, I just wish there was a hoop for me. Um, you know, sometimes I go for a drive and, you know, plan it out that these are the days I'm going to go shoot. And I get down there and there's, you know, five or six people shooting. And, 
Um, so that kind of sucks. But other than that, the same stuff, just a lot of band work, which I'm loving. Um, and my knee feels really good. And, and obviously having an extended break and not really playing basketball, it's a good chance for me to recover and my body to feel uh, want to, to hurt a little bit more rather than sitting around. Well, we appreciate you guys giving me time, obviously. Thanks to Social for this. But before I let you go, the big thing that's been in the basketball world the last two weeks, Michael Jordan documentary, The Last Dance. Last time I spoke to Macker, you hadn't seen it. Have you seen it yet? Still haven't, haven't. Seen it. haven't seen it. Well, Shay, give us your thoughts on Have you seen all four episodes now or just the first two? Uh, I've seen all four. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll wait till the end of the, the series to, you know, give my opinion. But I still think LeBron, LeBron is up there, you know. Can't can't count him out. Well, it's hard. It's obviously different areas, but it's still to be able to see some so many behind the scenes things about what went on. My favorite part watching the last couple of episodes was the Dennis Rodman stories of when he had just went to Vegas for however long in the middle of the season, and then came back and just <laughs> dominate. Uh, but I think it's some good stuff. Coming, obviously, it's good to see Luke Longley. He doesn't get talked about, but he has some really good games in those final series. So I think it would be cool if there's a whole episode about him. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, thanks to SodaStream for doing this. I'm sure we'll catch up more. So stay safe and look after yourselves. Cheers. Thanks. We'll see you later, mate. Later. later. <laughs>